Hello, my name is Morgan Nemchek. I'm a group fitness instructor at OSU, and I'm going to be taking you guys through a quick little 15 minute power flow today. Um, so we're going to get started off in a child's pose. Just bring your toes to touch. Let your hips sink back on your ankles, and just slowly walk your hands out towards the top of your mat. Lay your forehead on the mat. Maybe rock it back and forth to give yourself a little bit of a massage. Spread your fingertips wide. Maybe walk them out one more inch. Really start to engage through the arms. And just start to come into this room. Start to notice any sounds. Any smells, any tastes. And then just slowly start to deepen your breath. Sending all your inhales to the bottom of your belly. With every exhale, sinking a little bit deeper into this pose. How do you feel your belly pushing up against your legs? Taking up space. Take a few more deep breaths at your own pace. And on your next inhale, slowly start your, to walk your hands back into your body, coming up into a tabletop position, making sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists and your hips are directly over your ankles. Your spine should be in a neutral position right now. And on your next inhale, arch your spine, pull your shoulder blades back, coming into a cow pose. Maybe rock back and forth here. Take one breath, and then exhale, hollow your back, pulling your spine, or pulling your shoulder blades away from each other, coming into a cat pose. Take one breath here, and then inhale back through cow, and exhale through cat. Take a few more of these at your own pace, really making sure to pull your shoulder blades together in cow, the part and cat. Engage through your core during cat. Take two more at your own pace. And then meet you in a neutral spine. Bring your right foot towards the back of the room almost as if you were pushing against an imaginary wall behind you. Keep your hips squared down to the mat. And then exhale, cross your right foot over your left, making a C shape with your spine. Maybe you look over your left shoulder, rock back and forth on the foot. Just whatever you need to do to warm up your spine here. Make sure you're keeping a little bit of a bend in the elbows. And on your next inhale, bring your foot back up towards the back of the wall. And then exhale, replace your knee down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Engage your core here. Really push through that leg. And then exhale, cross it over. Making another C shape with your spine. Again, find some movement here. Maybe you lift your hip up and down. See how that feels. Maybe gaze past your right shoulder. We're trying to wake up the body here. Create a little bit of warmth. On your next inhale, bring your foot back up. Exhale, replace it down on the mat. Bring your hands one palm print in front of where they were. 
tuck your toes. Inhale, shoot your hips back, coming into a downward facing dog. Maybe walk out your dog here. Maybe shake your head, yes or no. Find a little bit of movement. Maybe you inhale, coming up to a plank. And exhale, shooting your hips back up. And on your next exhale, find stillness in your dog. Inhale, come up on your toes. Exhale, deep bend in your knees. Walk to the top of your mat. Maybe grab on the opposite elbow here. Sway back and forth. Place a bend in your knees. And just let your neck and your shoulders go. Try and keep movement in your body, though. To keep the body awake. And on your next exhale, place your hands back down towards the mat. Inhale. Bring your hands up to your shins, coming into a flat back. Engage through your core here. And you press your hands against your thighs. Create a little bit extra space. Your shoulder blades behind or pulling behind you. And then exhale back down, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around, coming into a high mountain pose. Exhale, slice them through heart center. Inhale, up and around, take up space, and exhale, forward fold. Keep the weight in the balls of your feet here in this forward fold. Just take one last breath to shake your head out. Then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands on the mat, step back, coming into a plank pose. Option to drop the knees here. Just make sure you're keeping a straight line from the crown of your head all the way to your heels. We're going to take two more breaths here. Really push away from the mat with your hands. Pull your heels behind you. And inhale, shift forward one inch. Exhale, lower half or all the way down. Inhale, push up into a cobra pose. Pulling your shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, look over your right. Inhale through center. Exhale, come through a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, shoot your hips into a downward facing dog. Maybe shake your head out again. And on your next inhale, come up on your toes. Exhale, bend in your knees, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around, high mountain. Exhale, slice your hands through heart center. Take one moment here. Check in with your high mountain. Maybe lift your toes up. Make sure all four corners of your feet are on the mat. Should be engaged through your legs here. Shoulders pulling away from your ears. Then inhale, heel toe your feet together so that your big toes are coming to touch. And then inhale, sweep your arms up, shoot your hips back, coming into a chair pose. Option to have your hands up towards the ceiling, or maybe you keep them at heart center. Just engage through your legs here. Squeezing them together. You should be able to gaze past your knees and see your toes. Inhale. Rise up one inch. Exhale, sink down two. Inhale, rise one inch. Exhale, sink down two. One more breath. Then exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet back, shoulder width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands on the mat, step back, plank pose, option, drop your knees. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower half or all the way down. Inhale, come up through cobra, or maybe you lift your thighs off the mat for up dog this time. Take one breath, and then exhale, shoot your hips back, downward facing dog. 
Exhale, drop your knees under your mat. Coming into a tabletop position. Bring your right foot towards the back of the mat. Again, just like we did at the beginning of class, pushing against that imaginary wall. And then just start to slowly peel your left fingertips up off the mat, engaging through your core until you can bring the fingertips up in front of you, coming into a bird dog. Really stretch through your front fingertips, engage through your glutes, and then exhale, bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Keep your neck long here. Don't let it hang. Exhale, crunch. We're going to take one more. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Place your left hand back down on the mat, followed by your right knee. And inhale. Maybe come up onto your palms. Give your wrists a little bit of a stretch here. Then inhale your left foot towards the back of the mat. Flexing your foot. Slowly start to pull your right fingertips up until you can reach them in front of you. Engage through your core. Try, try and keep your hips squared to the ground here. And then exhale. Knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. We're going to take one more. Make sure you engage your core. Inhale, extend. Place your hand down on the mat, followed by your knee. Place your hands one palm print in front of where they were. Tuck your toes and shoot your hips up into the downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right knee or your right ankle up towards the ceiling. Try and keep your feet flexed down towards the mat. Coming into a three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, back up, three-legged. Exhale, stack your hips, bend through your knee. Maybe make tiny circles in each direction. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between your hands, plant your foot. Slowly start to peel your fingertips up off the mat. So you can sweep up, coming into a crescent lunge. Make sure your front knee is over your front ankle. You're pulling your hips towards the front of the room. Bringing your inner thighs together. Peel your shoulders away from your ears. And on your next exhale, bring your hands behind you and slowly shift forward, hovering over your front knee, engaging through the core here, coming into an arrow pose. One more breath. And then inhale back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrow. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrow. Inhale, crescent lunge. This next time when we pulse down, we're going to take off with our back foot coming into a warrior three, balancing on this front foot. Exhale, shift forward, take off, keeping a slight bend in your front leg, trying to keep your hips squared down to the mat, just like we were doing in bird dog. Make sure you're pushing against an imaginary wall with your back foot. Maybe you pull your hands out in front of you for an extra challenge. One more breath. And exhale, drop your hands to the mat, coming into a standing splits pose. Make sure you keep your toes pointed down to the mat. Take one more breath here. And exhale, bring your left feet down to meet your right. Maybe hang out here in a forward fold for a second. Or a rag doll rocking back and forth. And then exhale. Bring your hands back down towards the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step back, coming into a plank pose. Option to drop your knees. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower half or all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, coming into a three legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Again, maybe make tiny circles in each direction. Inhale, three legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between your hands, plant your foot. Inhale, peel up, coming into a crescent lunge. Take a few breaths to find some stability here. If it helps, maybe bend through your back knee to pull your hips towards the front of the room. And then just re-straighten that back knee. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders glued together behind you. One more breath. And then exhale, coming into an arrow pose. Make sure there's a straight line from the crown of your head to your back heel. One more breath of holding this. Then inhale back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrow. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrow. One more, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrow. Inhale, crescent lunge. This next time we're going into warrior three. So inhale, take off, bring your right foot to the back of the mat, keeping a slight bend in your left knee. Try and create a straight line from the crown of your head to your back right heel. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Engage through your core. One more breath, you guys got it. And then exhale, place your hands on the mat, coming into a standing split. Try and keep your toes pointed down towards the mat. The goal here is not to get your leg up as high as you can. It's to pull your chest into your lower leg. Exhale, bring your right foot down to meet your left. Maybe you straighten one leg and bend the other. Grab on opposite elbow. Sway back and forth. Whatever you do, keep moving. Keep that energy that we've built throughout class flowing. Then exhale. Place your hands back down on the mat. Bring your big toes to touch. You know where we're going. Inhale, sweep up. Coming into a chair pose. Inhale, rise up one inch. Exhale, sink down two. Inhale, rise up one inch. Exhale, sink down two. Option to have your hands at heart center here. We're going to be holding this for two more breaths. Stay strong. And then exhale, coming into a forward fold. Heel toe your toes back out to shoulder width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands on the mat. Step back into our final plank pose of this flow today. We're going to be holding this for three breaths. Option to drop your knees here. Just make sure you're staying engaged through your core. Pushing away from the mat, spreading your fingertips wide. Pulling your heels back. And then exhale, drop your knees, coming into a tabletop position. Place your right hand on the back of your neck. Inhale, elbow to ceiling. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Inhale, elbow to ceiling. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Inhale, unravel, hand to ceiling. Exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left. Place your shoulder on the mat, then your chin, or then your cheek. Coming into a threaded needle twist. Option to bring your left arm out in front of you, or maybe wrap it behind your back. Take a second here to come back to your breath. A 
We're gonna be here for three more breaths. If you've decided to take a bind, replace your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, unravel, bringing your right arm up towards the ceiling again before placing it back down on the mat. And bring your left hand behind your neck. Inhale, elbow to ceiling. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Inhale, ceiling. Exhale, wrist. Inhale, unravel, left hand to ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle on the other side. Again, option to take a bind on this side by either extending your arm or placing it behind you. This side might feel different than the other side, so you might want to take a different bind. Just listen to your body. And again, use this time to catch your breath. We've been building up a lot of energy in this flow today. Then bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Inhale your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, replace it back down on the mat. Meet me in a seated position, rolling over your legs. Bringing the soles of your feet to the mat. Knees to the ceiling. Place your hands in front of you. And exhale, roll down vertebra by, by vertebra onto the mat. Inhale your knees into your chest and slowly rock back and forth. Maybe make tiny circles with your lower back. And inhale, reach in between your legs, grabbing onto the outer soles of your feet, coming into a happy baby pose. Maybe you rock back and forth here. Bringing your knees into your armpits. And inhale, come back. Give yourself one last squeeze. Maybe bring your head to your knees. And then exhale, extend your legs long onto the mat. Place your hands out beside you. Maybe you bring your eyes to a close. And just let your body sink down into the mat. Let your breath return to normal. And just let any tension you have in your body be released with every exhale. Slowly start to invite movement back into your body through your fingertips and your wrists and your ankles. And inhale, reach up overhead, coming into a good morning stretch. Exhale, roll onto your favorite side, using your bicep as a pillow. Take one last moment to thank yourself for doing something good for your mind and your body today. And with as little effort as possible, you can in a seated position at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your third eye. Namaste. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Again, my name is Morgan, and that was a 15-minute energizing flow. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.